Welcome back to another episode of the Healthy Habits Cooking Show. I'm Marsha Martin, your Healthy Habits Specialist, and today my special guest co-host is Alyssa. Hi, you saw me earlier. She's going to help us cook. Today we're going to make chocolate chip chaffles. So Alyssa, let's start with putting some eggs in the bowl and we're going to whisk those up. Are we going to use a fork? We're going to use the whisk there. Oh, okay. Okay, we've got those whisked up good. Next, we have um, softened some cream cheese. So we're gonna add that to the bowl. Put the whisk down here. Yep. And we'll just stir that up. We're also gonna add in some vanilla. How much vanilla are we adding? Just the half a teaspoon there. All that right. was almost all right. Yep. And then we're going to add some baking soda and a little bit of sweetener. And today we're using a monk fruit sweetener, and which is a lot healthier for us than regular sugar. Okay, so we're going to let this, once this gets all mixed up, we're going to let this sit for five to 10 minutes, and then we will finish adding the rest of our ingredients. So we'll be right back as soon as this is set for a few minutes. Okay, so our uh, bread mixture has, our flour mixture has set up for about five, six minutes, and now we're going to add the mozzarella cheese. And Alyssa, did you know that mozzarella cheese there you go. is a good source of protein? No, I just thought it was a good source of calcium. It is that as well. And add in those chocolate chips too. These are sugar-free chocolate chips. Oh, so this is like a sugar-free thing. Yeah. Because we got the monk fruit, which is healthier than normal sugar, and then we got su exactly. sugar-free chocolate chips. So anyone can eat these regardless on if they're on a diet or not. It's still delicious. They're still healthy for you. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, and this is hot, so we're gonna take about two tablespoons and put in here. And spread that out. Are we just using a base waffle iron? It's just a mini waffle iron. And then we'll let that sit for about five minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, Alyssa, we've been about five minutes on our waffle maker. Let's take this out and Ooh, look it at looks that. perfect. Doesn't that look delicious? Nice and hot. We're going to let that cool off and let's put a little bit more in. We'll make some more. All right, Alyssa, we got our second chaffle out of the little mini waffle maker. And we've added some fresh fruit, some raspberries, blueberry, and strawberries. My favorites. Awesome, because these are some superfoods right here. So we've got a little bit of sugar-free syrup. If we want to add that, we can add a little bit of that, and we'll try this. I'm not a syrup person, but You're I'll You're not? Try. Okay, well, I'll just put a little syrup on this side. How about that? Thank you. Okay. And let's try that. Same thing weird. I'm gonna have a raspberry with mine. I don't have a strawberry. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. So good, isn't it? It tastes like chocolate chip cookies. Okay, you heard it right there. We've got a healthy breakfast for you and it tastes delicious. So, as always, we've linked the recipe in the comments. Let us know what your thoughts are. And uh, Alyssa, thanks again for being here. Thank you for inviting We've me. We've had a great day.